So if you've been on this channel before, you know I'm a big advocate of dyeing your beard, especially if you have a lot of blonde hairs like me. So right before the video, I actually dyed my beard again. Let me show you a quick before and after before we get into the video. How's it going everyone? My name is Dan from The Bearded Smith and I'm glad that you are here. I wanted to make a quick update today for the Minoxidil Beard Progress because I have some very, very exciting news. So I was scrolling through my phone's pictures earlier and I found this picture from October 30th and I was like, hold on, wait. That can't be right. So let me actually show you what I noticed. Take a look at this freckle or birthmark or whatever you want to call it here on my cheek. And look at the beard in relation to it. You can see that there's like a whole centimeter of space between the beard line cheek line and the actual birthmark. And now, not even two months later, I noticed that my beard goes all the way up to that birthmark. So I was wondering, how is it that I document all this progress, right? I take pictures every week on my phone. I even upload these update videos to my YouTube channel. How is it that I didn't notice as significant gains as this? And the more I thought about it, the more I realized as to how and why this is possible at all. Let's use an example here, right? So say you're only using Minoxidil for just one month and you only had 10 hairs on your cheek to begin with. And one morning you wake up and you have 20 hairs on that same cheek. I'm like ecstatic, right? I'm like, Whoa, that stuff actually works. Gotta call my mom, you know, all of that. Hello? Hi, mom. Yeah, no, it's me. Just really quickly wanted to call you to let you know that I've grown 10 new hairs on my cheeks with that minoxidil stuff. Yeah, that's great, honey, but why can't you just let nature do its thing? You don't need to use a drug for it. Yeah, mom, and you don't need breast implants, but here we are. What did you just say? What I'm trying to say is, in the very beginning, you notice every new hair that's on your face. Now, say you've already been using Minoxidil for a couple of months. Say you have a thousand hairs on your cheek. Now, one morning you wake up and you have a thousand hundred hairs on your cheek. That's a hundred more than the day before. And yet, you may not even notice it in the mirror. So the more progress you made already, the harder it is for you to actually see the new progress. And so... When you're using Minoxidil for months, you just don't expect to see as many radical results anymore. You're not looking for gains in the mirror every morning either. So finding this picture on my phone has actually reminded me of how well Minoxidil has been working for me so far. And it has given me some new motivation to keep going for that full beard. I mean, I've come a long way already and I have gained a lot of new hairs, but I'm still not where I want to be in terms of beard growth. Let me show you some close-up pictures so you know what I'm talking about. That's gonna be it for today's update video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like on the video and consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. I want to give a big shout out to all the new subscribers. We're at 173 at this moment, which is absolutely amazing. So thank you very much. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.